Amsum was walking past a bakery when the smell of <laughs> freshly baked cookies filled the air. His nose twitched and his mouth began to water instantly. The smell was so good that he stopped in his tracks. Curious, huh? he wondered, how do we smell things? Determined to find out, Amsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside his nose, where warm air was flowing in and out with every breath. But Amsum noticed something more special higher huh? up. A patch of yellowish tissue called the olfactory region. It was filled with millions huh? of sensory cells made to detect smells. As he looked closer, the scent from the cookies drifted in as invisible particles called odor molecules. They floated through the air and reached the olfactory region. The moment they touched the special receptor cells, a spark of energy flashed. Each receptor was shaped to recognize certain types of odor molecules. Amsum watched as the receptors sent electrical signals racing along tiny nerves toward the brain. He followed the glowing trail upward until he reached the olfactory bulb, the brain's smell center. The bulb compared the pattern of signals coming from the nose and quickly <laughs> identified the scent as cookies. Suddenly, images of sweet treats and happy moments appeared. Smiling proudly, Aumsum <laughs> now understood the mystery. Aumsum was watching his favorite movie when he felt the urge to pee. But he didn't want to miss the exciting part, so he decided to hold it in. As the pressure grew, he began to wonder, is it bad to hold our urine? His curiosity sparked. And with a blink, Aumsum shrank down and entered his own body. He landed inside a balloon-like organ called the bladder. Around him was golden liquid, slowly filling the space. Huh? At first, the bladder walls stretched easily, making room without any trouble. As more urine flowed in from the kidneys, Amsum noticed the bladder walls stretching thinner and wider. The stretch sent tiny signals racing upward toward the brain. Huh? The brain responded by sending messages back to the bladder, warning that it was time to release the waste. Still, Amsum saw that valves called sphincters near the bottom stayed tightly closed. But soon, the bladder stretched too much. The stretching sent stronger and stronger signals to the brain. Amsum noticed something else. In the stored urine, bacteria had begun to appear. If the liquid stayed trapped for too long, the bacteria could multiply, causing painful infections. The body was clearly not meant to keep waste locked away for hours and hours. Slipping out of his body, Amsum smiled as he now knew the answer. Amsum was helping in the kitchen by chopping onions for lunch. But before he could finish, his eyes started to sting, and tears rolled down his cheeks. He blinked rapidly, trying to stop them, but they kept coming. Confused, he wondered, why do onions make us cry? Determined to find out, Omsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed near the eyes, where tear glands sat like tiny water balloons. They were releasing enough moisture to keep the eyes clean and fresh. But, outside, the sharp smell from the onions was spreading. As Amsum looked closer, he saw invisible onion vapors carrying a special chemical called synpropanethyl S-oxide. It touched the thin surface of the eyes, known as the cornea. The nerves there sent urgent messages to the brain. The brain recognized the irritant and quickly commanded the tear glands to protect the eyes. In an instant, the tear glands began pumping out streams of liquid. Tears rushed across the surface of the eyes. Amsum saw how the tears weren't just water. They contained special enzymes that neutralized harmful chemicals and kept the eyes safe from infection. 
blinking reflex kicked in too, helping spread the tears evenly and push the irritant outward. Smiling proudly, Aumsum now understood the mystery.